So now I'm going to freeze them like this flat so that it'll be easier to stack um, later on. So good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This morning, I thought I would do a quick video with just a couple of things that I have learned or things that I do on a regular basis to make my everyday life a little easier. So one of those items I actually was doing this morning, and that is I cook bacon and then I freeze it. So I, this morning I did four packs and I have, so there'll be this, and I will have two big bags. So four packs will fill two of these reusable um, bags. These are probably, I would say, a little bigger than the medium Ziploc bags. Anyways, it is so convenient. It probably took me about an hour, you know, with doing dishes and then cooking the bacon in the oven um, of roughly an hour, an hour to do that. Anyways, it is so convenient. I was making everybody some egg bacon McMuffins um, yesterday and this morning as well. And I used up the last of the bacon yesterday, so that's why I had to make more today. But it was so nice just grabbing. I'll just grab one of these out of the freezer, let it sit on the counter for a couple minutes while I'm making everything, put it on, and it's perfect, ready to go. So one less step that I had to do with for not having to cook the bacon. Um, and then the other part is I keep the bacon grease. Um, you can use this uh, pretty much in anything. I, if you want to like use it as a base for like when you're cooking eggs or I'll put it in if I'm frying um, some potatoes. There's other many other uses and then you just keep it in your fridge and it will last forever. So yeah, that was just uh, what I had done this morning. Okay, another time saver that I do is chop onions and freeze them into um, sandwich size bags. So right here I have a little more than 10 pounds of onions and I am just going to chop them. I'm not sure how, I'm, if I'm going to chop them or shred them. I think I'll try a few different ways to see which way I like. And um, yeah, so I like to have quite a few bags of this in there. They're great for when you're going to um, say you want to make uh, pierogies. You just grab a bag, throw it, fry it. Um, so many different easy ways, recipes when you don't feel like making. Oops, I threw that in the wrong thing. Okay, so this is the, the ch actually, switch this around now. So I have the chopping blade in here right this minute. So much quicker and this saves on the eyes. Sorry, it might be loud here. got a few Ziploc bags. So these I do wash after I'm done using them and I reuse them until they're pretty much worn out. That looks like a good size. It's probably anywhere between one cup and one and a half cups. Oh, the other thing I really use these for when um when I was making um, salsa in the summer, I really appreciated the chopped onions. That saves so much time because all the prep work for salsa it, it takes a lot of work. So I was so appreciative of one less thing to prep. And same with peppers. I don't do peppers as much, but for that particular project it was extremely helpful wow 
I, I really feel that in my eyes now. Okay. I'm going to continue this and I'll let you know how many bags I got out of it. Okay, just finished. Got 16 sandwich size bags with roughly one and a half to two cups in each. Took me 15 to 20 minutes to get them done. Um, I did find I preferred using the, so I started with the chop and then I used the other part and it was shredding. So I found I, I liked the size of those better. So um, yeah, that's what I will be doing from now on. So now I'm gonna freeze them like this flat so that it'll be easier to stack um, later on. So I'm gonna keep them exactly like this if I can find a spot that they will fit. Okay, so I just thought I'd share this trick with you guys. See on my window, there's stickers on here. I had Christmas stickers which was not a smart idea, but anyways, it took me 30 minutes to scrape off the actual stickers yesterday. And then I was trying to figure out an easy way to get it off. So I started to use a mixture of rubbing alcohol and um, nail polish remover, and it comes off instantly. Let me show you guys. Okay, so I saturated this cloth. You can see right here, this is where I'm gonna do it. There, get the sticker is off. Now I'll do, let's see where you guys can see, do this. So what you could also do is just like rub it on all of the areas, let it soak in while you work on one area. And if there's any sticker, scrape it with your nail. But I don't know if you can see. See all of that that just came off? Have you ever had a reusable water bottle with these ridges down there that you get black mold stuck in and you can't get them out due to the ridges? I use one of these. Most of the time it gets it out, but sometimes it's just, it's just stuck in a, a tight spot let me see if I can I can see that that's on the inside and there's another one up here somewhere anyways I'll show you how I get them out so I'm going to use one of these tall bottle scrubbers I put about an inch of water in here and then I am going to put a little bit of rice I'm just going to put a handful in here And all I'm going to do, we're going to try to get the rice where the rice is going to scratch it off. So just moving the water around. And it is almost off. There's still just a little bit more in there. I've tried a few different things to try to get these out. This is the one that I found works the best. Okay. And that got it out. I'm going to wash it with soap and water and then that will be as good as new. Okay, so I just washed it with soap and water, but I just thought I would show a close up of how I got it out. This would sometimes they're just so tricky. You use anything else to that you found works as well? Let me know in the comments so that we can all learn something new. Okay, take care and we will see you on the next video.